But good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Marcus Stone, and I'm the host of the Daily Dose. And I would like to welcome you to the next day of your new life. That's right. See, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. What will you do with yours today on this beautiful June 7, 2019, the year of consistency in the second quarter of power? That's right. It's Friday, so you know what that means. It's Saturday Junior because a lot of hustlers got to go to work tomorrow. But it's all good because some of your friends, family members, and co-workers need their daily dose of positivity, inspiration, and motivation. And you know your boy Marcus got the antidote. Y'all know I was ch- kicking it over in China and I saw a panda, 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 panda. And I had to hit him with the antidote. I was somewhere in Florida and I saw an alligator and a crocodile making babies. I said, I got to get him with the antidote. But in order for me to do it, I need you to do my favorite thing on one, two, three. Hulk smash the share button, smash it, uppercut it, hook it, and knock it out the park because today's topic is going to be fire. No fire extinguisher needed in the dose house, baby. That's right. We just stay lit. I hope y'all are doing fantastic today because I am. I had a lot of fun yesterday on my off day. Let me tell you how it went. Oh my gosh. Okay. Before we get too started, I need a vote. I'm not going to tell you whose was who, but I need to know which one of these burgers looked better. I need a vote. The left or the right. That was me and my daughter. We went out on a date yesterday. We had a lot of fun. And I'm just a little bit curious. On the left, it looks like we have bacon, eggs, mushrooms, onions, and stuff. On the right, we have bacon, eggs, cheeseburger. And on the uh, bun, it's a jalapeno jam and jalapeno. Which one looks better, left or right? Let me know. Vote in the comments. You know, and it's so funny. My daughter, we have this really nice restaurant in our town. Really, really nice upscale, five star. And she says she wants to work there when she uh, becomes 15 or 16. And so it's funny. I was showing her yesterday how to uh, roll the, the silverware up. It was so funny. She had fun. After we ate our burgers for lunch, we went to go see Godzilla. Godzilla. Let me tell you, uh, <laughs> that movie's kind of funny. It's a lot of CGI, a lot of animation. That movie is loud. If you want to get woke up, that movie is loud. Listen to that on your surround sound. That'll be something else. We had a lot of fun. After that, you know we had to get more yummy in the tummy. We went to go get us some Cold Stone ice cream. It was a great day yesterday, I promise you. And after that, how could you not top it off with petties? That's right, men. Go get pedicures with your daughters. And also, take care of your feet. Don't nobody want no crusty crabs rubbing against their legs in bed all night. Go take care of your feet, men. I got my first, true story, I got my first pedicure as soon as I got back from Iraq. Uh, You know, wearing boots in the desert for like eight months isn't really good for your toes. So my buddy took me to go get my first pedicure. When I walked in there to get my pedicure with my friend Jennifer Glover, I saw a few men in there doing that. I said, great, it's not going to be just me. Go get a pedicure, man. It's healthy for you. Yesterday, some of my Dose U students got the opportunity that's in my master's class to get the one-on-one consultation. Let me tell you, Keith Hamilton was everywhere. He's a GM at uh, City Auto Sales in Alabama, and, and uh, a lot of his uh, employees are actually enrolled in Dose U. And I had a lot of fun yesterday doing my one-on-ones for the master class, man. These guys got a ton of value. Dose U first semester is going fantastic. Everybody's loving it, just like I know they would. Come on, you know the Dose Master, Dr. Marcus Stone, is going to bring it and make it legit. And I'm going to be doing classes for July, but I'm not going to do shameless plugs today, so we'll just get into this morning where I had to get, after all that food yesterday, I had to get the sweat dripping on the Peloton bike. That's right, day 7 of 4.30 a.m. rides. I'm feeling good. The sweat is dripping. The calories are burning, and oh man, I can't wait for day 30 to see what's going on. I told y'all I saw some side abs. Here's the deal. Leanne Ransmith holds the door open for some of you fashionably late people, but I got a little homie named Lyric at the door that's going to meet you right behind her that's going to tell you what to do. Lyric, tell them what to do in case they came fashionably late. Fuck smash the shit. That's right. At least if you're going to come late, you better hit share and hit a title in that share. Gosh, fashionably late people. Get the crest out of your eyes. It's 6.30 a.m. on the Eastern Time Zone. Wake up. Some of you guys are up at 4.30. I see you, Natalie Phillips. Thanks for joining, girl. Today, we are going to talk about some stones. I read an interesting quote this morning when I woke up. You know, I got to get my positivity out the way. We can choose to throw stones, stumble upon them, climb over them, or to build with them. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We are going to talk about stones. Who? Marcus Stone. What up, Sean Jones? I know you watch every day. But today, we're going to talk about stones. So let's get into the antidote. 
The antidote is a medicine taken a given to counteract a particular poison. Now, Marcus, it's 6.30 a.m. on the Eastern Time Zone. The dose house is starting to get filled to capacity with people who want that antidote. I think it's time to refill some prescriptions. Hit them with the antidote. No, Natalie Phillips, I just happen to be loud this morning because I'm feeling so energetic and fine. She says, you loud, Marcus, you check out your sound meter. Oh, you know what it is? I actually moved this chair a little bit closer to the microphone. That's what it is. Thank you for pointing that out. Excuse me. There we go. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the topic. Thank you so much. Gosh, it seems still loud. I'm not going to whisper. This is a dose. Y'all turn y'all volume down. Today, we're going to talk about three tips to make sure you, you know a little bit about stones. So we're not going to throw stones. That's the last thing we're going to do. Why is my microphone so loud? Seriously. This is the first time ever. Do me a favor, y'all. Turn the volume down on y'all phone a little bit unless y'all want to hear me screaming and yelling. <laughs> the first tip is to stumble upon them. Now, I know that may be crazy when you're like, Marcus, why do you want us to stumble on stones? Well, I want you to stumble on stones so life can throw you off balance sometimes. See, too many times in life we go through life just coasting, just breezing. We're on cruise control. Nothing amazing happens when you do that. You got to stumble sometimes. See, when you stumble sometimes, them spidey senses, they start tingling and they start getting a little bit. See, that causes you to think a little bit more. You know, they say we only use a small percentage of our brain. When you start stumbling on stones, you start reacting. You, your mind starts activating more. Say, what's going on? What? It starts to make you more aware. See, understand that when you go through life on a gravy train, everything becomes easy. And we got to seek out the hard stuff. We got to embrace the suck sometime because that's how we grow. When your spidey senses started tingling, you utilize your brain more to figure out what in the world just happened and how can I prevent that from happening again. That's how you learn and grow. So you need to go through life stumbling on stones. Every time life trips you up a little bit, don't worry. That's just life trying to teach you a lesson so you can grow. It's all about changing your perspective. Don't look at it negatively. Look at it positively and say, mm, you're trying to teach me something in this moment. I get it right now. You're trying to get my brain to grow. I get it. Number two, <clears throat> you have to climb over them sometimes. Sometimes the stones ain't going to be just a small little thing. Sometimes they're going to be bigger barriers and you're going to have to climb on it. I, I like to talk about those as obstacles. and You guys know what I'm talking about because you guys have obstacles going on in your life. I wonder if I turn this down right here, if that's going to be a little bit louder. Is that still loud? I think we, uh, whatever. I'm not worried about it right now. Climb over the obstacles. Whenever you come to an obstacle, you know my three different options. You either go around that obstacle, you go over that obstacle, or you bust through that obstacle because you can be this far away from goal, but if you give up while you're trying to accomplish that obstacle, you're going to have some really big problems. It's very important to climb the obstacle. I know sometimes life can seem tough. Life can seem impossible sometimes. You've tried different angles. You've went around the world and I, yeah, yeah, I get it, but don't worry. Don't give up. You can accomplish it. Try ulterior methods. Seek help. Get you a mentor. Do a little bit of research. Do a little bit of studying. Have you ever been doing doing a project or something like that? Or let's say maybe some of my 80s babies and some of my 90s babies. You played a video game one time and it, was, it seems too hard to conquer. It's like story mode and you just can't get past a certain part. So finally you say, forget it, man. I'm not doing this no more. You set your controller down. You go back to doing something. And let's say like a week later or something, you come back to it and all of a sudden you just get past it that easy. I know somebody's felt me on that a little bit. It's happened to me, so I know it's happened to a few other people. You have to take a break sometime for from your obstacles and look at it from a different perspective. Don't just keep chucking at it, chucking at it, chucking at it, and then driving yourself crazy because you're not accomplishing it. Take a break away from it. Rest your brain. You generally perform better when you're well rested. That's why it's important to get some sleep. I fell asleep on the couch yesterday. After date night with my daughter, I got tired. I went home. I did my one-on-one -on -one consultations. I read my book, and man, I fell asleep on the couch yesterday. Your boy was tired, but you know what's really cool? I got eight hours of sleep last night, and I can't remember the last time I got, actually it was eight and a half. I got eight and a half hours of sleep, and I still woke up at 3.59 this morning. How cool is that? <laughs> Let me tell you, you can attack it better. You can get better results when you're well rested. I know that's that's not part of one of the tips today, but that's the secret sauce today. So go ahead, take it with a grain of salt. Number three, use those stones to build a foundation. Let me tell you about something, guys. This is super, 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 super important. A lot of people want to get to advanced techniques right away. A lot of people have not mastered the basics. They want to get to the hard stuff right away. And although there's nothing wrong with that... I'm, 
there's a little bit wrong with that. You cannot build a house without a solid foundation. When you're building a house, the carpenters just don't come in there and start throwing studs and drywall up on the place. No, you got to dig first. You got to establish the concrete foundation first. You got to get the building blocks taken care of first. Then you got to get the electrical and the plumbing and all that kind of stuff. Then you got to get the frame going. Then you start handling it. Come on, y'all. some of y'all feel me. Y'all know what I'm talking about out there. You can't expect to go into something and already have holes in your drywall and just patch and plug and play here. It doesn't work like that. You got to start with a solid foundation. So you got to build based off of the stones. Use those stones that life gives you to build a solid foundation. Don't go into everything rushing to try to be an expert right away. It takes a lot of time. That's what I've learned in this. I studied Dr. Eric Thomas. I follow him for quite a long time. And recently as uh, October, what I've done is literally went all the way back to the beginning of his YouTube vid YouTube channel and I've watched every single video because I'm like, I want to know what he did chronologically to get to where he's got and one thing that I realized is that it took a lot of times when he made that video for YouTube that says if you want to uh, achieve your goals as bad as you want to be that's when you'll be successful he did that so long ago before it finally went to YouTube and then finally blew him up I mean it took years the man has been personal development motivational speaking since the 90s and here it is it it took until like 2010 or 2013 for people to really like have him blow up and become the person who he was so it takes time you have to build that solid foundation when you're not getting the results that you want just know that it's gonna come just keep working harder and harder let me tell you when I went through my little moment it was three things that affected me and one of the things that affected me was when Facebook changed their algorithms and I went from averaging 2,000 viewers per day on this video doing it from my personal page to now switching over to my like page which is where you're supposed to grow your audience or whatnot averaging 300 do you think that didn't hurt my soul and crush my soul somebody that has a goal of making the entire world smile feeling that he's finally gaining some traction and then taking it all away but I know that's just, the idle mind is just the devil's playground and I'm not tripping at all because I know my loyal dosers the people who engage daily the people who watch this to truly get value establish a relationship with me the people that are true to the core those are the only numbers that really matter yeah great views and stuff like that is great it's a way to gauge your interaction your engagement your growth and stuff like that but what's most important is the people who I touch every day if I only get one person a day that tells me that I've changed their life or helped them out for the better or impacted their life in some positive way and helped them to make life a little bit better for them I'm happy with that but don't worry, don't think for a second that that stone didn't hurt me when, when it was thrown at me and say, oh, you think you're gaining some traction? Let me go ahead and bring you down. <laughs> you can't hold a player down. You can't hold me down. Come on, I'm the dose master, Marcus Stone. I'm using that stone to build a foundation. What ended up happening was when I was building that foundation and I had momentum going, I just noticed that I had a few holes in the wall. I had to go patch them things up because I know that's going to propel me forward. Had I let that take me out the game, had I let that discourage me, you wouldn't see the person that you see every single day remember 2019 is the year of consistency baby that means every dang on day showing up and showing out for the greater good of god can i get an amen scott uh <laughs> jack uh, zach pertwee can i get a hallelujah <laughs> i love when he he comments that all the time hallelujah <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down the stones checklist to make sure you get your antidote right number one make sure you stumble on them that is equivalent to life throwing you challenges. Every once in a while, you're going to get those challenges, and it's how you respond to those challenges that are going to determine if you pass or fail this thing called life. We can't get you down. We can't get you out. We can't get you into a depression. We got, it's all about progress. We got to keep you going. Number two, you got to make sure you climb over them. Some of those obstacles may seem a little bit mountainous. They may seem a little bit high, like my homie Nat Dr. Natalie Phillips out in Colorado. They got a lot of mountains out there. Y'all be climbing some of them? You ever heard the song, you be coming around a mountain when you come? <laughs> Climb over those challenges. Don't be afraid to. There's great success on the other side of them. And last but not least, number three, build with them. Use, to, use those stones to create a solid foundation. You have to master the basics first. You got to do that before you get to the advanced section. Don't be so quick to jump to the advanced course. Don't be so quick to turn to the back of the book to see how the story ends. Take your time. 
progress is a process. It takes time. I know we're all time broken. We don't have time, but you have to exercise patience. Just like I wrote that Facebook status last week, what is one thing that we have to make uh, to work on a little bit? For me, I put patience. A lot of people put a lot of other stuff. You got to have patience. It takes time. Well, if you always want to make sure you get the antidote, you can always catch me on YouTube. All of the antidotes are on there. Feel free. I will put the link in the comment section as soon as this video is over so you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Again, I'm trying to make the world smile, so let's grow this Dose community. If you have friends, family members, coworkers, whoever, get them to go over to my YouTube page. Type in Marcus Stone, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you take your Thor hammer and bang that notification bell. That's right. So you can always get notified when I go live. But what's most important is checking me out live, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time Zone. Search for The Daily Dose Show. Hit the like button. Hit the three dots underneath. Hit the following button and hit C first so you can always get your antidote, baby. Check out the outro. Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to The Daily Dose. I hope you got your antidote today. Your daily dose of positivity, inspiration, and motivation. Check me out every Monday through Friday, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time Zone on Facebook Live. And don't forget to Hulk smash that share button can somebody please do me a favor and see if I'm still extremely loud if I am please let me know I don't know if you turn your volume down or not but obviously I got to make some adjustments I don't know what happened but I don't want to be screaming in your ear every morning but thank you for tuning in to the dose I'm just a kid from the south side of Chicago that's here to make the world smile and change people's lives I do what I do from the heart and I don't expect nothing in return y'all have a fantastic Friday peace